Hey, it's April Capil, back with another video on how to do your makeup while you're going through chemo. And uh, today we're going to do the smoky eye look, which is in our smoky eye kit from Sephora, which we already have. There's only one new um, bit of makeup that we're using today that we haven't used in the past, and that is a uh, MAC single eyeshadow in print. So we're going to start with our MAC quad. You remember this from the other videos. And our highlighter brush. Get some of the white. Go over with like a light, light color. You can also use the, um, the light color in the Revlon quad that we had before. If you prefer. Just kind of go over. Then we're going to take the gold. Um, we're going to take the gold and get right up here. Just get our highlight right there. As you can see, I've already done my eyebrows. Okay. Next, we're going to take our Revlon quad that we had before. We're going to use the bottom one, which is kind of like a charcoal blue gray with our crease brush. And this is going to be a little dramatic. We're going to go all over the lid, right up to the crease. Might seem dark at first. Okay, you want to do the other eye. Once again, get in the crease. Be very careful. Be very careful because this is a dark color. Go all over the lid. Up in the crease. You might have to tap a little powder off it because it's really dark. Last time I did this, I got... <laughs> I got shadow all over my eye because I didn't tap my brush before I, I swept it across the lid. Okay, so you're all set. Now, you want to get your Brow Tech Cream Eyeliner Palette that we have from Smashbox. Get the black right here. Mine's almost out and go right up under your lash line like we've done before you know this it's not new we're going to get down low now this is kind of a dark eye you know it's going to be a dark look for you Once you're done with that, we want to get our angled brush and our print and go with the base just above the eye. So you're getting real dark. It's kind of a kind of a super dark eye. Save this for an evening look. And don't worry about it being perfect because we're going to smudge it later with our smudge brush, also known as my precision crease brush. Once you've got that eye nice and dark, get your smudge brush and just smudge over it. This is where your smoky eye comes from, from a really blending like that. Get your blush brush. A little bit, a little bit. I don't know if you've seen Geraldine Lucas's 
you know, it was a Lifetime movie and it was a book, and it's called Why I Wore Red Lipstick to My Mastectomy. It's a very good book. She's an excellent author. And when I went for my biopsy, I wore red lipstick. And I really identified with her because of what she was going through. She was so young and she had so much to deal with and so many issues, and she was just strong throughout it. So every time I wear red lipstick, I totally think of Geraldine and Lucas. Or, you know, red lip liner with my, with my gloss. Now, this red lipstick is Sephora, and it's so old that I don't even know what the color is. It says 045 on it. And I found that it, I like it a lot. I'll, I'll even this out. This one you definitely need the Cindy Crawford trick for. All right, now this. Now I'm not going to wear a wig tonight. My friend Emiko Myers is a wonderful, wonderful mother in Kauai. Very smart, very strong. Calls this my Jill Scott look, and. I'll tell you a little story about Amiko. She's a very, very busy lawyer and a mother of a little girl. And when I was first diagnosed, she came over the house for a potluck. And when she walked in the house, in one arm she had her daughter in her car seat. In the other arm, she had a pan of homemade macaroni and cheese, even though she's lactose intolerant. And hanging from her hand in the arm with the macaroni and cheese, was a bag of pink ribbons that she had hand folded and clipped a little, you know, a pin on the back of. It wasn't even a safety pin, it was like a like a brooch clip. And a little, little rhinestone in the middle where the where the pink ribbon crossed. And when she walked in the door, she had this look on her face of determination that I've really only seen when she's in a paddling meet. <laughs> when, you know, she's like determined to kick someone's ass. And I really got the feeling when she walked in the door that, you know, she was going to help me conquer this and she was going to be there for me. And it was one of the most special, special feelings that I've ever had throughout this whole drama. So if you saw what I did, I just sort of am wrapping this scarf around my head. I'm going to wear a hat over it. And you just want to, you don't want to worry about covering the top of your head because it's going to be covered with a hat. You just want to get it so that it's kind of like a little sassy with a little bit hanging in the back. And then I have this hat. And it's kind of a, kind of a newsboy hat. So this is my, you know, I'm flattered that she even included me in the same sentence with Jill Scott. She's such an amazing artist. So you have a smoky eye, some daring red lips, a little scarf that matches your lips, some big chunky earrings, and a newsboy cap. And I am ready to go to Shagoon's album drop in Palo Alto. So hope you enjoyed the video. Like always, leave a comment if you did, and uh, we'll see you next time.